Hello everyone, my name is Rad Simmer and this is my this is a I'm still in the habit of saying this is my This is a Sims 3 current household and for you all in one fanatics, you guys are the the best. Um I am ending all in one, like it's not coming back. I think we ended the family on a good on good terms. If I do decide to bring the family back, it will be in the far future, but uh, I'm not outlawing it completely. I do have the saves and all, but I am definitely not anticipating it. But thank you guys for the support on that those videos. Uh, I'm very proud of the Rutherford family. Probably most successful Let's Play I've done besides 100 Baby Challenge, um, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here is gonna be a current household. And guess who we got here? We have Naomi. Ah, my girl. I love this bitch so much. Okay, so, all right. You guys all know Naomi. Naomi has the same makeup, exactly the same. She dyed her hair red. She reminds you of Rihanna. She is just the most beautiful sim ever literally gorgeous like obsessed with her amazing sim and she is married to someone named marcus pennington he is so cute i love him Ooh, and uh he is a famous basketball player and they kind of met love at first sight nothing crazy they got married within a year. Typical, like, Hollywood marriage. I just, like, got married. And they have two twin children. We have Trey over here who actually has Jillian's blue eyes, which was, like, so cool. Even though there's no blood relation, there's so cute. So cute. Blue eyes. And that's kind of like me. I My parents both have. My mom has blue eyes and my dad has brown eyes and all our brothers have brown eyes. And I have green eyes, but it's a recessive gene like from like my great grandmother. So, yeah. And we have Golly here who looks exactly like her daddy. So cute. I love babies. Um. Oh, and you might be asking about Hartley, her son that she had in uh with chris brown not the chris brown like <laughs> chris brown um she did decide to give him up for adoption uh not give him up but put him up for adoption she really did a lot of finding herself she spent five years with her best friend who was a mean who is in a different world now. I kind of like moved on with her. I really was uninterested. But she spent five years with her best friend in Bridgeport where she was raised. And um, yeah, pretty much she moved back to Bridgeport to kind of find herself and her father, speak to some people, just uh, find herself. She grew up here. She loves it here. So she wants to move back here once she finally could and of course Marcus was out, totally up for it this is like the best city ever to live in so yeah they they own this house um which actually huh, her grandparents were stayed here in their honeymoon I forgot they did that they did it's um with her I'm just playing her I'm not really interested in like how the house looks and the aesthetics and all like I'm not really interested in that but She's pretty much working, not working. She has lots of money just from, you know, she sued her mom. She does do modeling jobs and, like, five-star celebrity things. But mainly, it's a lot of Marcus's just moolah from being a retired basketball player. And he also does the same things. Uh, go entertain the sick kids. Mm -hmm. This is not your time to shine anyway. But Naomi Kyle here. Let me see you, girl, before the lights go down. Oh, this is her adorable swimwear. Oh, stop. 
but she did move back to Bridgeport. Like I said, she saw her dad's grave. She uh, pretty much found closure in uh, moving back here. This is her. Oh my God! Get away! That was scary. And when the paparazzi just like creeps behind you, it scared the crap out of me. Uh, this is her everyday outfit. She is so cute. She's got such a good body, like, boom. She's so adorable, so gorgeous, and she literally, she's about to turn 30, and she she's feeling good. As far as family connection, she has dropped all contacts with her family completely. Um, she has not seen her mom since she left, didn't even say goodbye. Does she anticipate of seeing her family again? She doesn't know. Maybe, maybe at her mother's funeral she might pay a visit, but she doesn't know. And she did say goodbye to some loved ones, like her aunts and uncles, and especially Jellybean. Um, Jellybean almost actually came with her, because Jellybean, as you know, all that happened, but, yeah, like I said, all that happened to Jellybean. So, um... She didn't really get to say goodbye, but, um, they just, you know, she cherishes her and they speak to each other. Jellybean's up there. Jellybean's like her guardian angel. And it's really sweet. Really, it really is. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Naomi's story. I am going to continue it and do we know if Naomi's gonna have a happy ever after? I don't know. But, that's about it for now, guys. Thank you all for watching. Leave me suggestions when I should play with Naomi. Um, I am off for school now, so I'm playing Sims a hell of a lot. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe. Leave me suggestions on what you'd like to see next. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.